the other day, I went to go meet a friend, Josh, at the coffee shop, and we were talking through, like, business. The same Josh from, from Mountain Path Media, and we were kind of talking about, like, how God has us at a timeout season. We're a media company, and we're not necessarily allowed to do marketing. It's early. Well, if that seems a little odd to you, it's no less odd to us trying to figure out, you know, what the Lord is doing and all this stuff. So we're there eating, having coffee, eating breakfast, and one of my other friends comes up and he says, Hey, before you leave, because I had to go, he says, Hey, before you leave, I want to I tell you something. I think the Lord has a word for you. And I'm like, a word? I know, that's kind of what I thought. Oh, yes, sir. <laughs> Where am I going? Nowhere. Why? Love me some words. <laughs> he says, Man, the Lord told me this. He says, My yoke is easy and my burden is light. Learn from me. He's reading that text. And he says, learn from me. That's what the Lord wants you to know. And as soon as he says, learn from me, he says, that's what God has for you right now. You're in a season of learning. His Holy Spirit is going to draw alongside you and begin to teach you how to do life and ministry. And he goes off into this prophetic word. And it is the words that I've been hearing in my quiet time that God is going to illuminate the presence of Holy Spirit in my life and I'm going to I'm gonna know that he's here I'm gonna know that he's saying something that he is educating me and teaching me how to do life and ministry like a school a season of learning so I was like awesome a season of learning which is all fine and good going about my day I get home that night I'm mindlessly scrolling on Instagram because it was kind of a sucky day we've all had them don't pretend like you haven't and I'm asking the Lord where is the fruit what is going on here when all of a sudden up pops this this ad have you been feeling fruitless are you ready to enter into a season of learning and I was like just whatever it is take my money I signed up for a class that is supposed to take my business from A to B normally I'm not into all that gimmicky stuff but the presence of the Lord was all on it and let me tell you something my mindset has already shifted I couldn't understand why everyone else could do things and make it successful but I couldn't no matter how hard I try everything just seems so unproductive unfruitful and that's what it was it was like these guys have set a precedent that it is actually possible and could you imagine what God might want to do in you because to God all things are possible and it was like <laughs> filming Jason and JJ. I've been doing all these social media packages for all the different businesses and connections that I already know. After Lance's word, after talking with my father-in-law and him saying like, dude, video's not done. You're not done in video. Has God finished the entire call that he has up on your life for video? And I just don't feel like that's done yet. And so he was like, well, why not learn? And clicked over again in to this season of learning thing. So I know as far as video, I'm in a season of learning and I'm out there making tons. Like last week, we made something like 40 videos and this week, we're looking at uh, doubling that. So, should be fun. Yeah, it's mamas and papas. Oh, he's on man. the phone. I'm teasing him because tomorrow he's preaching and his mother-in-law's on the phone. She's like, I thought you were on like a biennial thing. And he's like, no, they just, they just wanted to get it out of the way real quick. <laughs> <laughs> it's not true. He's a fantastic preacher. Actually, some of my favorite sermons in the entire world have come from this dude. Alright, so in that short little bitty bit of time, I'm already, like with Jason here, they're finishing up, already been able to film, I'm guessing maybe eight videos out of what we just shot a minute ago, probably taking us about an hour and a half. Turf management. Now they're short, it's micro content, but uh, I'm pretty excited about it. We're producing stuff. Well, I should say the Lord's showing me and unlocking that it's just mindsets, accusations, demonic activity that's kind of in the way of us realizing our full potential. We gotta cut out the noise. Another part of turf management is treating any kind of insects that are going to harm your turf. We put down a quality product on your turf that's going to kill the bad bugs. The chinch bugs, the grubs, anything that's going to eat at that root and it's going to kill your grass. And again, the idea is that it's preventative. You may not think that you need it, but you do need it. Bugs will invade on your property and then you're going to wish that you had preventatively treated it. We put down quality product, whether that's liquid or granule. It's 
It's gonna be put down on the turf, watered in, and it's safe, it's effective. Here with Logan, just wrapped up filming <coughs> for Training Ground Studio. And I think we got about two videos out of it today, so that's not too bad. We got the full length, and we'll probably make a short for them, hammer that out. Good day. Did you have fun? Yeah, not bad. He's a sucker for the daddy-daughter thing. He saw he saw the daddy-daughter dance, and you could see. I could see it from here. He was all the way down there, and I'm like, he's in. Maybe a little. Ladies and gentlemen, it's now time to sit back and enjoy Training Ground Studios as they present Embrace 2023. something well you probably can't tell but I'm looking at the footage right now off of what I filmed today and I'm gonna be I'm gonna be over so I was hoping for 10 videos to be shot and filmed shot and filmed, same thing be filmed today and be done with them and I think I'm gonna end up with with possibly 12 which is even above what I wanted and here's the point here's the whole reason that that even matters it's that my brain before this whole adventure, this learning season, I couldn't even fathom doing 10 videos in a day. 10 unique stories being told at one time. We're created for so much more than we know, and God has built into the human being so much more potential. And like, just even in that, like the human being has potential, but the God-ordained, spirit-filled human being has so infinitely much more potential that's not words but you get what i'm saying we have so much more untapped unrealized availability of resources than we could ever imagine i mean we're seated with christ in the heavenly places all the spiritual blessings all the spiritual giftings have been bestowed upon us and like we're seated in this place of sonship and authority and like we're just coming to grips with some of that with some of that stuff i am anyway and it's amazing the sky's really the limit there's no more barriers it's like whenever you break the whoever the guy was that broke the five minute mile and then he was the first one to do it and they'd always said it could never be done and then like once it's done it's like oh if he can do it i can do it if i can do it you can do it i love you guys and i will see you in the next one i'm out